I might be a bit close to this phone. Like I'm, I'm in my van. I'm just pulled up on the drive. What a day I've had. Nobody's had a better idea than me. I was going to say a better Monday, but it's Tuesday. I've lost track of the days already. Oh, what a start the bloody day I had. Uh, I got new discs and pads on my front of my van early on the year. And then I got the back. Did I get the back discs done? I got the. And then I got the back discs and pads done. And there was a, the back caliper was seized, so I got a new caliper. I got uh, me big job this morning, me Carlsberg customer, where I've been for four hours this morning, from 8 to 12. That was another story. All the hedges had loads of growth on them, and that's so honestly, with this with this weather. <coughs> um, and when I got out the van to start, I could smell heat. So you know, there's something wrong when you can smell, actually smell heat. I could smell heat, and I thought, wow, where's this heat come from? So I opened the bonnet on the van, think, no, what am I going to face here? Could f no, no, it seemed to be gone on the uh, in the engine bay, and it seemed like it was coming from the wheel. Well, I've been having trouble, even since I got the pads and discs done. I've been having trouble with like the van, like making a knocking sound every time I've pressed the brake, and when I've even when I've just been driving. So I knew there's been something up. It was just a matter of getting it in the garage to get it sorted. I, I, I says it'll be the pads moving back and forwards in the caliper, you know, not not fitting quite right. Been going through a lot of diesel. I thought, oh, and I touched the wheel. It was red hot. So I says, oh, that's a sticking caliper. That I've got a, like, a sticking caliper on the on the um, disc. So I thought, I hope it hasn't bloody warped the uh, disc. But it, it wasn't coming through. The pedal has been warped. So I went to my garage where I normally use. I says, can you help it up? help us out, lads? This was about because I've done three jobs and I've done the last two jobs and lashing down the rain. It's lashing down the rain now. We're being soaking wet. I, I just cannot believe this. I cannot believe this start of the season. Honestly, I've never known it. I'm sick of hearing like talking about it now. Honestly, it's just every day on nine times out of ten you get rain. I can't remember the last time we had a full week where it didn't rain at least one day. That's it's absolutely ridiculous now. Like, so I've done the last two jobs. I done me f it didn't rain on my first job from eight to twelve. Then I done my commercial job. Come to serve me time with that started raining there. Then the last one, my last front and back grass corner, getting absolutely drenched. So I went to my local garage, like I was saying, I says, can you help us out? I've got a sticky pack, can you just, like, have a look at it? And that, and it might be the sliders need greasing or something. He says, you've got no chance for a chocolate block still. He like, says, maybe tomorrow afternoon. I thought, oh, I need to get it done. It's dangerous, you know what I mean? So I went to another garage I've used before, and he he, he done it straight away. He had to go away and get a caliper. He says, new caliper, definitely. Um. So it's in one hand and out the other. Your biggest expense, expense, it's expense when self-employment's definitely your van bills. Like, if I was working for somebody, I wouldn't have all these bills. Like, but it's the way it goes, isn't it? You can, you've got to take the rough with the smooth. So I've had a canny day work-wise. I'm on target. Uh, so tomorrow I'm doing Tuesday's work and Wednesday's work. You know what I mean? I've been sat to move a day, a day forward. I've got last, last and down rain yesterday. We went. Um, Went up the borders to Jedbra. It was lashing down when we got to Jedbra. But it was lovely on the way back. Um, looking over at the Cheviots. Oh, it was lovely. So it got me... Got the bus for, you know, the Cheviots again. Getting, up, getting the wild camp in. Somewhere along the line. Um, I'll be bombarded with hedges shortly. I've been driving past some of the hedges. I don't. It's absolutely... A, a massive thing you're doing. So I'll be getting phone calls. I'll be chasing my tail shortly. Um, and then we got a rough green. It wasn't wasn't too bad, the weather. But I can't believe the weather now as I'm speaking, sitting in my van. It's lashing down, absolutely lashing down. Mate, it just stop stop there now. Aye, it's just stopped. I cleared the windscreen then. It's it's just stopped now. So everywhere is drenched for tomorrow. So I'm cutting wet lawns tomorrow. And I've been cutting wet lawns this afternoon. So aye, that's my start of the week, Tuesday. Van bills. And he had the rank caliper, so he had give us the price for it. Then it went up 40 quid because he said there was a surcharge on the caliper. I thought, why? Well, I shouldn't have be paying that man. You know, it's their mistake. If they gave the rank caliper, you give them the registration number of the van. Shouldn't be a surcharge. He says, oh, the caliper costs more. Christ almighty. I don't know what to think about that. But I had to have it done. It was like an emergency. And like I say, I've, I thought, I'm not getting much diesel here. I've never been away from the pump this bloody month, that's how, because this caliper's been sticking on. 
So I'm just hoping the, the offside, the near side one doesn't go now. You know what I mean? It's obviously at that age where the calipers are starting to go. And that's the back one just being done. A couple of, just over a month ago, maybe six weeks ago. And now the front one. So they might start going now. I hope not. Yeah, what a carry on, isn't it? Oh, stomach. Right, I've waffled enough. I'm going to go and have me, have me tea. It's been a long day, that. I had a first job this morning, the bloody beach hedges and all that. The bloody amount of the crap on my arms. The amount of uh, growth I've took off them. Um, I've had to use a dumpy bag. I normally always just get away with using the brown bin. I think my customers, that tells you how much stuff's come away all of a sudden. It hasn't just come away in like a little bit of time. It's just shot away while that rain, bit of warmth. Crazy. I knew what was going to happen. A proper freak start of the year, this. I've never known it. All years I've been doing in garden maintenance, I've never known like a... Uh, Oh, like a start of the season. It's, it's, it's new territory, really, honestly. The grass is, you kind of keep up with the grass and the hedges. Oh, man. But, you know, I'm I'm whinging, but I'm not whinging, if you know what I mean. I'd rather be busy than not busy. Especially when you've got van bills. Oh, that was something, innit? Tax and insurance and bloody repairs. And... It's got to be your biggest ex It's definitely my biggest ex expense being self employed, like. In the van, it really is. Couldn't get any cheaper. I've already put my prices up this year. <laughs> I kind of put them up twice in one year, and anyway, definitely can it. Right, catch us later. Have a good week, short week. <laughs> Bye for now.